Today I'd like to show you how to carve a rubber stamp. So let me show you what you'll need to do that. The first thing you'll need is carving rubber. There are lots to choose from. That first one I showed you is a soft rubber and it's really good for beginners. And the pink one is slightly firmer and a bit more challenging to carve through. Then this last one is actually my favorite and that's the one I'm gonna use today. You also need an X-Acto knife, a pencil, carving tools, and the different blades to carve, a burnishing block, tracing paper. The one that I have here has lines on it, and I actually prefer the one without lines, so if you pick this up, get it without the lines. And then a design. Now this one I used today was actually made from a leaf rubbing from my own tree in my backyard. So if you have your own design, you'll want to trace it, but this one I already did quite a while ago, so I'm just tracing over the design that I already did on my tracing paper. And then I'm putting it face down and holding it very firmly and using my little burnishing tool to transfer the design onto the rubber. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. And I always save my rubber pieces. Unless they're very tiny, I always save the little pieces. And then using my smallest blade, I start to go around the outside. So I speed this up here because it takes quite a while and I am very careful to get all of the places that I want to be carved. And you'll notice that I move the rubber and I'm moving my hand, but keeping my hand sort of firmly placed onto the table. It takes a bit of practice, but you'll eventually get the hang of it as you do it more. And then I switch to the medium sized blade. And then I just go around the outside and get all the edges carved out. And then next I put on the largest blade and just clean up where I've carved already. And then once that's done, I use my X-Acto knife to cut around the stamp. And this part, I do two different ways. So first I was doing it on the table, and then I pick it up and um, do it this way. This can be a little bit dangerous, but I've done it so many times that I just get a feel for it. So definitely be careful if you, if you choose to carve it this close. And there's lots of ways to clean off your stamp after. This is totally optional but one of the easiest is just to use a pencil eraser. And of course you don't have to clean the marks off. And now we're gonna do a test print. I like to use that print making paper and I'm using this VersaFine ink. I really like this one. And printing on my stamp. And it's all done. I hope that this was helpful. Definitely leave a question below if you have it. And thanks for watching.